Hey guys, new trailer for the 7th season has finally been released and it left me and most likely all of you speechless. This trailer couldn't be better and it has also confirmed a few major theories. Trailer starts with Sansa walking in the godswood of Winterfell, while in the background we can hear Littlefinger talking about fighting battles, then shot switches to the wall and, as I already said in my previous videos, gates are opening for Bran and Mira, which this trailer confirmed. Then we got to see a shot from the King's Landing, which will actually represent Euron coming to the capital and parading with his prisoners all the way to the Red Keep, whereupon he will pledge his army and Iron Fleet to Cersei, but this deal will be accompanied with the marriage between those two villains, which is confirming once again that Cersei and Euron will become allies. There's also Arya on horseback and is most likely finally arrived at Winterfell, as well as a few shots of Daenerys at Dragonstone, where she will arrive in the very first episode of the upcoming season, while in the background we can hear Jon Snow telling to someone, most likely to Daenerys, as they will meet in Dragonstone, that their ancestors, despite their differences, fought together for centuries against their common enemy. With this speech, Jon Snow will try to persuade Daenerys to send her forces to the north to fight against the Night King and their forces, instead of battling Cersei and Euron, while his speech is accompanied with this beautiful shot of Daenerys' dragons flying near Dragonstone. However, as we can see in the trailer, before Jon convinces Danny to send her forces to the north, there will be a few major battles between her forces and Cersei's forces. The first fight will take place earlier in the season and will be Daenerys' ambush on the Lannisters and the Tarleys who will be heading home after conquering Highgarden. This battle that was filmed for a few weeks will be the biggest battle of the upcoming season and will contain Daenerys on Drogon leading the Traki Horde in the first battle in the Seven Kingdoms which will result with Daenerys' victory with the death of Treasonous Head of House Starly, Randall, while Jaime with Bronn's help will somehow manage to escape in the heat of the battle and seek refuge at Casterly Rock. The second battle, now between the Unsullied and the Lannister forces, will take place a bit later. Upon Jaime's escape to Casterly Rock, who will not stay there for too long, Daenerys will realize that the Lannisters will not be defeated anytime soon if they have somewhere to run every time they lose the battle, which will lead Daenerys to attack the ancestral stronghold of House Lannister. The Unsullied will attack Casterly Rock and will most likely conquer it. There's also a shot of the Iron Fleet which does not represent Theon and Yara's attack on King's Landing, but rather Euron Greyjoy arriving with his prisoners to pledge his army to Cersei and finally marry a queen. There's also an interesting shot of Bran warging in beside the Weirwood Tree and witnessing the upcoming battle between Jon Snow and his team against the Night King and his army. This battle between Beyond the Wall and with Jon Snow along with Beric Dondarrion, Tormund, as well as with Gindry, Jorah the Hound, Thoros and a few more men will get ambushed, has now been once again confirmed but now for good. Jon Snow will lead a small team which will contain already mentioned characters Beyond the Wall in order to capture a white and prove to the rest of Westeros that the real enemy is real and is coming. However, during their mission, Jon and his team will be noticed and will get ambushed by the Night King and his undead army. This same trailer has also confirmed that Daenerys with her three dragons will come to rescue, which fire behind the undead army confirms. Daenerys with her dragons will manage to save Jon's whole team except for Tauros, who will get killed in the very beginning of the battle, and except for Jon Snow, who will be left alone surrounded by the White Walkers and by the Horde of Whites. However, while Jon will get severely wounded, he will not die as his uncle Benjen Stark will appear in the last moment to save the day. Benjen will send wounded Jon off on his horse and will die for his nephew. Those final shots of the trailer are accompanied with Sansa's epic speech saying, when the snows fall and the white winds blow, the lone wolf dies but the pack survives. 